Okay, what's inside 9 volt batteries? Hopefully today we'll find out what's inside it and hopefully it's not too sparkly. This battery leaked a little bit. You can see the leak leakage right there. This is a alkaline battery energizer 9 volts and we will find out what's inside of it. We will open it. Hopefully it doesn't do anything surprising. Okay, so let's see what's inside. I have my... This is corrosion. Okay, so I think I'll start here. Ah, this is the... which one is the positive? This should be the positive. Ah no, this one is the positive. That's the positive terminal here and this is the negative. Try not to make too much of a mess. Okay. Oh, it looks looks like it's just a label. Okay. So Inside, it's a black. Interesting how it's packed. So you can easily change the markings on it. That's pretty nice. But we need to go further ah this is how it leaked went outside from here came from the terminal went but this is okay here it's just a cover battery terminal flew away so okay let's see here so let's see here Yeah, don't try this at home, especially not if the battery is okay. <laughs> and if you ever try this, wear protection glasses. Because you never know when some piece of this stuff will fly out. Okay. A 
lot of stuff here. I don't know if this is paper or <coughs> oh, there is a battery terminal. It looks like some kind of paper material soaked in chemicals. Okay. I wouldn't really do this, but I thought battery was finished here and I thought why not try to see. <clears throat> there should be a few small batteries. Yay! Ah, look at them. So this was insulation material here. <clears throat> that was the insulation. And in 9 volts you have many triple A or AA four four times A quadruple A batteries. Let's see. Oh. They even have the plus and minus indicators on them. Ooh. It's interesting this uh, this actually could be useful for a emergency kit. Put some fishing line. <clears throat> this could be used as an emergency for the emergency kit. Put some fishing line in here, some sewing kit, and this is the 9 volt battery contents. It's interesting, they have markings on them, but they're really shiny and they're all in series <clears throat> so each one of these batteries actually they're pretty heavy so if you ever need the small batteries like this I don't know if it fits as in uh, for <clears throat> for triple A batteries could they fit could they replace AAA batteries in a pinch? You wouldn't normally do this, but it's nice to have the option. They are a bit shorter, a bit shorter and thinner. But you, with the tab like this, you might be able to use it. Interesting. Okay, it's working. So 9 volts, 9 volts is ah, still, still 7.6, 7 7 not bad. So each one, if I change it to 1 volt, each battery 1.227 1.22 So you could use this in a remote control actually Let's try this one Almost the same <coughs> Interesting. So if I if I desperately needed batteries for this remote, I would be able to use this. Let's try, let's see. So what markings we have on them? I think it's a manufacturer batch number or something. Then the plus on one side and no sign on the other side, so it's a minus. Interesting. If you <coughs> if you wanted to short them, <laughs> that would be a bad idea. But this. This is how I short them. Mm. If 
if I wanted to burn a piece of plastic Okay, so if I want to use them nice ones now you can even remove the this is all printed here so let's try to use the remote okay this remote is for the lights so you will know for sure this remote is for the lights so you will know for sure if it works or no so the plus uh, it doesn't have the I should have kept the tab on this side. <clears throat> I'll take another one. <clears throat> so I need to keep the tab on the plus side because usually the AAA batteries they have this groove there. Press a little bit. Mm. Looks like it fits, kind of. And one more with the plus on the top. Oh, I'm getting good at this now. Plus here. And uh, so the black side, actually, it's easy to watch black side is where the let's see they don't align oh, come on I think like this should work better. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just turned off the lights. <laughs> Okay, so 9 volt battery can work as a AAA battery if you really need to. I will turn off the lights now. Perfect. Okay, this is interesting. So that's it. I'll put my regular batteries here. I don't need the, but it's really, it's really good to know that you can actually use them. And I had them, I had them in this uh, carbon monoxide detector the 9 volt battery and it started beeping so I had to change it and it was supposedly depleted but doesn't look like it's depleted to me what's inside this battery 
It's gonna be an alkaline battery. Let's see. Maybe this is not a good idea. Yeah, I think this is totally not a good idea. Okay, I'll not open it further, this is all. Inside the 9 volt battery, there is many small 4A batteries. They are a little bit smaller than AAA, but they can be used as AAA batteries if needed. Pretty interesting. <laughs> 